What up, y'all? Welcome to the video, man. With this video, we're about to put Canelo and Alvarez on the spot. We about to say some shit that's going to make Canelo mad. But, no, nah, but as y'all coming in, y'all smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed. I ran across an interview of David Benavidez or whatever, and they mentioned the fact that Canelo said, hey, man, I don't like to fight Mexicanos. I don't like to fight Mexicans. So, David Benavidez, David Benavidez was willing to say, nigga, I ain't even no Mexican. <laughs> he, about to say, he about to say he ain't no Mexican just to fight Canelo. That's how bad he want to he wanna, he wanna whoop on Canelo, bro. He want that Canelo shot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when Canelo Alvarez first said that, I said, that's some puss-ass shit. You don't never hear no black dudes running around talking about, I don't want to fight no black dude. Man, the sport is filled up with blacks and Mexicans, majority. So you saying you don't want to fight the Mexicans, almost like saying, I don't want to fight 50, 60% percent it's your people in the fucking boxing. So what are you talking about? You looking at fighting somebody as if you finna kill them, but... Somebody who hungry like David Vita is, is he fighting uh, fighting you is like putting his family on, putting his family in a position to do bigger things and climbing up the ladder. So that's how you know when somebody on some cherry picking shit. Some fighters try to look at it like, oh man, I ain't trying to fight him. What you mean you ain't trying to fight him? Because the other guy looking like let you like fool. You looking, he look, he hungry. He, he, he on some shit like, I don't, I don't mean to bring this up, but it's almost like what's going on in L.A. right now, right? You got, you got the crime rate super high in L.A., right? They see rappers coming out there with their chains on, a whole bunch of jewelry, everything, right? And niggas is running up on rappers and things like that. It ain't even just rappers, but it's anybody who look like they having some kind of wealth. So they running up on these guys, man, and, and, and they robbing them. Don't matter where they at. You can be eating food in a fucking restaurant. You can be walking down the beach, skinny dipping. You can be doing whatever it is you trying to do, right? And, and, and niggas ain't giving a fuck because they ain't having much and you just looking like a snack. Canelo Alvarez in this situation is the rapper. He got a lot of status. David Benavidez is the robber. You saying I don't fight Mexicans, he don't give a fuck about that shit. He don't give a fuck if your ass was purple. He, he trying to make your eye purple. He trying to, you know what I'm saying? He trying to make your face purple. He trying to make you red. He don't give a fuck, man. So, man, Canelo, man, don't ever say no shit like that again, man. That shit was stupid. I mean, if I was a Canelo fan, I would have been looking at his ass sideways after he said that. I'm like, what, the, what do you mean, bro? Like, let me rephrase it. Canelo Alvarez don't want to fight people who could potentially beat him. That's our competition. Oh, he fought Bivar. Yeah, because he he thought he was going to whoop his head. <laughs> but any nigga that look like they going to beat your ass, he ain't trying to fuck with you. Because he on some other shit right now. Canelo is on some... He on some... Bullshit. Put it like that. Like I said... Canelo is the rapper. David Benavidez is the robber. And he, he coming for your shit, bro. He want to be known as the top Mexican in the sport. He want your spot. He want your position. He want your necklace. Yeah, all that. So, you know what I'm saying? Get that boy his smoke or get the fuck out the way. That's how I look at it. You get your ass out the way. Don't even come to Cali.
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't come to Cali. If you don't want your shit took, stay your ass on the side. Well, don't come to the street, man. Because these boys ain't fucking around with you, man. Jose, I mean, David Benavidez. You got Jamal Charlo running around this motherfucker. You got, you know, I would say Boo Boo, but Boo Boo Andrade, but I just say him too. Even though he, he he on some other type of timing right now, but him too. You got guys really trying to fight you, bro. And you around this motherfucker fighting Triple G. They sink that fight, right? And they looked at you. And like, mm. one of the two things. He either ain't on Kabuta Raw no more, or he ain't good as I thought he was. I'm going to beat his ass. So... They, they they looking at you like fool, bro. They seen you in that fight with Triple G with that old ass man who was barely throwing punches and you couldn't get him out of there. You couldn't drop him. I mean, damn. Then he was fucking you up the second half of the fight. So, I mean, they 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 want to take advantage of that and they see that. So, ain't no more running from the smoke, no more Canelo, man. This dude calling you out. He ain't scared of you. He ain't kissing your ass either like a lot of dudes be doing, but... It is what it is, man. Canelo got to give David Benavidez that smoke because he, you know what I'm saying, he want that smoke and he a name. You know, actually, he got a lot more buzz than what Triple G got going on. He got a lot more buzz than what Bival, Dimitri Bival just had. But when you fought him, he got a lot more buzz than that. So you can't try to play this game like nobody know him. It is what it is, man. Y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. You ain't already subscribed. And I'm out, y'all. Deuces.